Today's show is pre recorded. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all don't know y'all better ask. Hat on, hat on, suit on, suit on, looking like the Capital Dawn, giving them all. Just like the million bucks, but things in this cup. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me who could it be? But Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah. Everybody out there listening to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody, you are listening to the voice. One and only Steve Harvey got a radio show. Come on, y'all. I said that a little bit wrong this morning, but I'm tired. I just came out the gym. I'm a little out of sorts right now, but it's okay. I'll pull it together. But let me tell you something, man. I got a clear cut message for you today. I really do. You know, um, as I've gotten older, I've um began to take some supplements. And supplements are uh, to help your body in things that it doesn't produce as much as it used to. Supplements are designed to help you replenish what's been depleted in your body as supplements. Now, there are people I can tell you can speak a lot more aggressively and a lot more knowledgeable on this subject, but just giving you a, just a brief overview of my understanding of it. Now, if you've been living your life for a while, supplements are necessary for most of us. Now, also, if you've been living your life for a while, Spiritually, you may need some supplements because you've just been at it for a while. You done got wore down a little bit. You're tired. Some people around you ain't changing. Some people around you draining. It's just life just keeps on coming. Life don't ever get no easier. It just you become more knowledgeable about how to handle it. It does not get any either easier. You continue to lose loved ones. You continue to have to confront the challenges. It's just that over a course of time, you become experienced and you can handle them better. But life don't get no easier. But spiritually, you get a little bit worn down. Well, you need some spiritual supplements, too. And I'm just going to flat out tell you. The more God that you can replenish yourself with the higher the dosage of God that you are willing to put into your spiritual self, the possibilities then become limitless. You actually have the ability to make a conscious decision to supplement your body and you have a conscious decision 
to supplement your spirit. You can do both. So what I did was, I, I could just tell you what I did. I was taking all these supplements. I started taking supplements when I was about 45, I think. That's when I began. I, I was thinking about it one day, and I just went, wow, man. I started talking to some knowledgeable people. I found out I needed these things. But then spiritually, man, I started supplementing myself, too. I started praying some more. I started trying to gain a little bit more knowledge and wisdom and understanding from scriptures and just try to make make sense of all of it. You know, just just make a little bit more sense out of my life. Make sure that I was on the right path. As a matter of fact, get on the right path. Find out my real purpose and my mission in life. And nobody can do that for you. That's something that you have to want to do. But I started supplementing my spiritual side of my life and supplementing my body. Now, I happen to be right now about in the best shape I've ever been in, technically. I can assure you, though, I am in the best shape spiritually I have ever been in. Now, my body has looked better. It really has. I mean, come on now. At where I am in life, at the stage, with the years I've been walking this earth, man, I'm cool. But spiritually, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. And what it's done for me, y'all, is it's gave me a peace and a calmness. You know, it used to be, man, I used to fight so hard against people who attacked me. Now, man, it, it, ain't, it ain't that serious to me because now I have a full understanding that if I come under attack, that God is with me. Cause that's a promise he made. That's Isaiah fifty four seventeen. That's that's the that's the any weapon formed against you, any weapon formed against you, shall not prosper. You can't you you can't come and get me. It's is I'm not here for you to take down, cause you didn't put me here. So why would I fear a person bringing me down when they're not the reason that I'm here? So when you attack me, you have to be careful. Because I ain't ever by myself. I formed a relationship with the most high that I can rely on for protection, for coverage, and for peace. A lot of times when things used to stress me out, how to run this, how to handle this, how to deal with that. You know, fame is rough, man. And then you put that together with some business and you put that together with your family. You got a lot of stuff you're trying to tend to. I have a peace of mind about it now. Because I have someone who provides me with a sense of understanding and calmness that lets me know that this too shall pass. That it ain't just a saying that I heard old people say. That it ain't just something my mama used to tell me. It's something that can really happen once you get an understanding. This too shall pass. This is just another piece of life that you are now better equipped to handle. I'm telling you what it's done for me. Oh, millions of people out there hear me, man, has done the same thing for them. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling it new to some people, but there's some people that show sure enough understand what I'm saying. And then if you, if you have known this, but kind of forgot it, it's time for some supplements. So when you get like that and, and now you find yourself in a situation with a disease or something, you got to do something. Now nah, you got to start juicing all your greens. You got to start detoxing your body. You got to start purifying the system. See, the human body has always had a way to repair itself if you just give it a chance. Your mind has always had a chance to repair itself if you give it a chance. And your spirit always has a chance to repair itself if you give it a chance. It's the only way I can maintain at this level, and it's the only way I have any chance of going further. I have to increase my dosage of spiritual supplements. I got to talk to God a little bit more. I got to pray a little bit more. I got to understand his word a little bit more. That's all I'm telling you, man. If you do that, if you just pray more, if you just study a little bit more, man, just try to get an understanding. Ask him to help you understand. It will open up the possibilities of your life to into a realm you never could have imagined. I'm telling you, that's real, okay?
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, rabbit hunters, squirrel chasers, bird feeders, giraffe watchers, zoo attendees, Disney Lifetime membership people, <laughs> reporters, influencers of, of any kind, sick people. Here. Check. <laughs> Ready, Anybody. <Junior. laughs> Teachers. Yay. Waste Love management it. control. Mm-hmm. Truck drivers. <laughs> Uber. Whoever you are that needs some uplift this morning, we are here for you. We are here for you. And now for those of you that are over 80 years old, here's a little something for you. I'm climbing up (laughs) on the rough side of the mountain every day. I'm climbing up. Really? Yes, Lord. That's a little something for everybody this morning. Welcome to the Steve Harvey Morning Show, everybody. Get your attitude together. Get your gratitude together. Get your altitude together. But it starts with gratitude that affects your attitude. It has direct correlation with your altitude. That's what we do in this show. Stars, some very capable people. Shirley Strawberry, Carla Pharrell, Mouth of the South, Mississippi, Monica. Kill Space, they call him Junior. And the legend that his nephew, Tommy Junior. Yes, sir. What? Today, pray tell. Yes, Uncle. Let me ask you something. Could man. it be now? <laughs> you know, do you give, you give your do you be hard on yourself? Do you give yourself enough credit? I know a I lot don't. of people. Will, yeah, you know that's the thing I'm thinking about because I thought about where I'm at today and my birthday coming up, and do I give myself enough credit for what what we what I done? I think I should be doing something more. Well, the problem with us is we are always in chase mode. And we're not enough in gratitude mode. And I'm guilty of the same thing because I'm extremely hard on myself. And people around me have to tell me all the time, you tripping. You need to slow down. You need to, you need to enjoy your life a little bit more because of the work you've put in and you've done. Mm -hmm. But that comes from not enough gratitude. And I'm very guilty of this myself, Junior, because see, we so busy in the chase game that we fail to realize how much we didn't caught. So you've been chasing, but you also been catching. And when you fail to realize how much you've caught, your focus is on the chase. And then you lose the gratitude of what you've caught. So you, as your birthday approaches and you realize that I'm not where I want to be, but can you not also realize that you ain't where you was? Yeah, Let well, the church say man. Amen. Well, amen, 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 amen. Boy, amen. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you know what, man? You, know, man? you need to go somewhere and sit down, man. Shut up. More, because I all you got to do is think back when it wasn't going this well. Mm, all right, all right. More gratitude affects your attitude. Which is the direct correlation with your altitude. Uh, we'll see y'all. We'll right. come back with more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show right after that. I got Shirley. Don't even worry about it. Come back next. <laughs> prank phone call. Oh, God. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. It is time now to start your morning off with the nephew and run that prank back. What you got for us, Neff? Can I claim your kid? Let's go. Yeah. Cut. Hello, uh, I'm trying to reach, uh, uh, Devin. Devin's. Yeah, this is him. Hey, Devin, how you doing, man? My name is, uh, Curtis, man. Curtis. I was trying to reach out to you. You, uh, you, your, your, your son, uh, he plays, uh, uh basketball with my nephew, man. Uh, your son is the one that's on the, on the Blazers Little League basketball team, right? Yeah, yeah, he plays for the Blazers. Everything all right? Yeah, Everything yeah. Okay with my boy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything good, man. You know, they got a game Saturday and everything. I, I seen you a couple of times, man, at the game. I don't know if you remember me, man. Uh, light skinned brother, about, about six foot. Yeah, I'm, I probably met you. I probably met you. You know, I'd be so intense with the game. But yeah, what's, what's going on? Um, uh, well, actually, man, I wanted to holler at you about, about your son, man. Um, you, you, um, do, are you, are you, are you working right now? Are you currently working? Am I? Am I working? 
But yeah, I am working actually. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you have a, you have a steady job, is what I'm asking. I mean, yeah. What you what you getting at though? Like, you know, I I, I thought you were calling about the basketball team, like some uniforms. I know we got a game Saturday. You know, sometimes they want a donation for sneakers and all that. Like, you know. No, no, what, no, 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 no. What I was asking, so so I mean, you you got a regular nine to five job you go to all the time. Yeah, I got a nine to five. I mean, things is kind of crazy, but hours is kind of short. But you know, I still, I still work. I mean, what was going on? You need a job or something? No, no, no. Uh, I'm just checking, man. See, what I wanted to get at you about, man, is seeing. Uh, are you gonna? Are you gonna claim your son uh, on your income tax this year? Hold on, bro. Now. You said, "Am I going to claim my son on my taxes this year?" Right. I mean, like you, you know, as as a dependent. So you asking some real personal questions now. You know, like we, you, you the guy that you just said you know me from the basketball team that my son play on basis. You know, and now you done jump from the Blazers to do I claim my son on my taxes and do I have a, a steady income? I mean, like. You know, yeah, I, I got I got a steady income, and I'm claiming my son. What, 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 I mean, what you trying to get at, bro? Well, well see, man, what I was thinking, uh, you know, I just wanted to read. You seem like a cool dude when I saw you at the gym, man. What I was going to ask you, bro, is, you know, see, right now, man, when I get through with my taxes and stuff, I'm going to have to owe about $800. But now, see, if I claim a child as my dependent, man, they going to give me about twenty two, twenty three hundred. You see what I'm saying? And what I wanted to get at you about, man, is, you know, you let me claim as my son, you know, so I can go and get this good money. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Bro, I mean, with all due respect, bro, you talking about you want to claim my son on taxes. Hold on, bro. I don't even know you. Uh, you know, you're talking about you seen me at my son's basketball game. You might be the police for all I know, bro. He sound like the police. No, 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 no. It about. ain't. It ain't. Ain't nobody gonna come at you sideways like that, man. I ain't. I ain't trying to come like what I'm trying to say, man. Dog, they trying to hit me up for this 800. But well, see, I can get 2300, man. I I kick you down 250. You understand? what I'm saying, man. Everybody 250. cool. 250. You crazy? Now you sound like a joke, bro, because now you're insulting me. You're telling me you want to claim my child for some where you owe money. I don't even know you, fool, so I can make 250 bro. I ain't trying to be on no bro, but when I claim my kids, I'm getting the same exact price you getting. I'm getting 2300 too. So what the I look like taking $200 from I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but I'm the one stuck over here paying the 800 man. I'm just acting like, asking you to look out for a brother, man. You say, look yeah. Look out for you know, my check been cut from 40 hours a week to 13 hours a week, and I still got these little asking back to me for Jordan. Michael Jordan, they never put a dime. That's why I'm trying to hook you up with 250 man. Damn, you don't even see a good thing when it's coming at you, bro. Bro, I don't know what the you talking about, bro. No, 250 bro. When I claim these two little I'm getting $2,300 a piece, bro. What you think I'm going to take 250 from you for? I don't even know you like that. So, man, you ain't got a, you ain't, you ain't got a trip, man. I understand man. if you was my bro, you my people, you know, maybe we could do a little something. I can understand that. But, bro, you ain't going to give me no 250 when I'm getting the same thing they offering you, 2300 It's government money, bro. So what is I'm supposed to do? What am I supposed to uh, do, Devin? Tell me that. I mean, bro, what you supposed to do is go have you a seed, claim that little every year, and you'll get what I get for these little that I'm feeding and clothing every day. That's what you're going to have to do. My hours done got cut from 40 to 15 hours a week. I had to go pick me up a little side hustle. You understand? You got to change your ways. You out here trying to get me locked up for a government scam. Bro, what I'm trying to do, man, is get this 800 off my back, dog. That's all I'm trying. Man, ain't nobody trying to get no trouble, man. Bro, hey. you still talking about getting you 800 and getting me locked up? Now, you got me up. I'm out here working hard to support my kids, man. Man, I ain't, ain't finna sit here and no go through this with you man. no more, man. I ain't finna sit here and go through this with you no more. Is you gonna help me with this money or not? Bro, I ain't helping you with bro. I need... And when I see you on Saturday, bro, I'm gonna you up, bro. I promise you, bro. I need your son's social security number right now. That's what I need. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. What you look like, bro? You said you're a light skin and you're going to stop six foot. Bro, when I see you, when I step in that gymnasium, bro, I'm on your Bro. You ain't I'm on my, you ain't on Blazers, on Blazers and Lakers, bro. You better bring that damn social security number. I think it's a game. I'm gonna come find him. 
Okay, cool. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? I don't even know why this is on my phone, bro. Why am I even talking to this fool? I got one more thing I need to say to you, man. Is you listening to me? Say your last statement you want on your tombstone, bro. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked, baby. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> this Nephew Tommy, man. What's up, Debbie? What's up, fool? You got me out here going crazy, Hey, bro. man, you got, hey, do you got a boy that you work with named Yeah, crazy Put me up to this, man. <laughs> man, I'm a beast. <laughs> I get to work tomorrow, man. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. We need good daddies in the world, brother. Man, thank you, bro. Yeah. Hey, one more thing, man, I got to ask you. You got to tell me, man, what is the baddest radio show in the land? Man. Steve Harvey Morning Show, brother. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. I'm a beat. <laughs> and there you have it. Coming up next, it is Ask the CLO or Chief Love Officer Steve Harvey. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for Ask the CLO. Now, this one is from Amelia in D.C. Amelia writes, I met a 61-year-old gentleman several months ago. I'm 56, and I've been divorced five years. He's been divorced for two years. From the beginning of our courtship, he said he doesn't like labels. This conflicts with his actions because he sleeps with me and gives me a few dollars every now and then. To me, we are in a relationship. I have told him I want a commitment that leads to a wedding. Should I give him more time or give him an ultimatum? Mm, see well, you could do whatever you want to but he told you mm -hmm. he ain't into no titles which is code word for I don't want to be married mm -hmm. now you now you call it a relationship because he didn't gave you some money and what and because he sleeps over you know okay you know girl I can't tell you and you you 56 I can't tell you how many men have slept over ain't got trying to come up with no damn title <laughs> sleeping over don't mean that y'all have titles and he ain't gave you one now you have every right to want what you want mm -hmm. so you can want what you want and you can make an ultimatum but you have to be prepared for the response cause he gonna go back to what I told you in the beginning now Should women always that. think they can change a man and he might yeah mm. alright alright Amelia did you hear that say it again CLO He's getting what he wants. Now you got to see if you can get what you want. That's right. All right, here we go. Catrice in Tupelo, Mississippi says. Tupelo. Tupelo, Mississippi, yeah. I'm a 48-year-old single mother of an 18-year-old son. I woke up to a big commotion recently, and it was my son having sex with his girlfriend in the shower. I have yeah. asked him repeatedly to stop sneaking her in my house. I talked to her mom about the incident, and she said her daughter is 18 and grown. I make sure my son has condoms, and I suggested to the girl that she get on some kind of birth control. The girl's mom said I'm wrong for meddling in their sex life. Is she crazy, or am I doing too much? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the woman is crazy. <laughs> For but you sure. have every right to make rules at your house. Mm -hmm. That's your house. Mm -hmm. You can make all the rules you want. Now, he 18. He's sneaking his girl in the house. But he ain't got enough sense to be quiet. Mm. See, what he need is a room or an apartment. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah. go over her mama house, who ain't got no yeah. problem with none of this. Yeah. Oh, Because wow. she'll stay in her business. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah. tell your son take all that over her mama house cause she cool with it but you ain't <laughs> now you got every right to set the rules up in your house mm -hmm. and he has to respect them amen to that okay moving on y'all need to go today, down Ciela. to the park in Mississippi somewhere <laughs> <laughs> In the shower in your mom's house making a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah you need to go down there by the, by the river. It's a, big, it's a big river go down through there. The Mississippi. <laughs> go on down now. Get down there by that river And bank. they're only yeah. 18. Yeah. Man, you know, you're yeah. 18, but you're acting grown, but you ain't paying for nothing. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. So, no, lady, you're not wrong at all. And the, mm. and the other mama, she cool with it. Yeah, no bonds. So since she cool over. with it, y'all go over her house. Yeah, make all the noise you want, right? Get in her shower. <laughs> All Turn right. Tire rack off the wall. 
<laughs> Mary, moving on. Mary in Fort Lauderdale says, I'm a 37-year-old married woman and my husband is 38. He has turned into a miserable homebody and he wants me to be one too. We've been married for eight years and I am still active in my sorority and I go out to brunch and social events once or twice a month. My husband told me that married women of my age shouldn't hang out like I do. My line sister is having a yacht party for a 40th birthday and my husband doesn't think I should go, but I'm going anyway. Am I wrong for being defiant? Absolutely not. <laughs> you have every right to live your life. And when is it too old to have a social life? Yeah. 40? 40 and birthday? You're too old. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. He's I got some frat brothers coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the second youngest one. <laughs> <laughs> Only one younger than me is Larry. <laughs> Everybody else older than me. And be wow. straight kicking. Yeah. And straight. we love to see each other. Uh -huh. It's such a joy, man, to have friends that you've been friends with, man, 46 years. Uh -huh. One of my boys coming, ah. we've been partners. We've been friends, man. Elementary, junior high, high school, and college. Since we was four, we've been friends for 60 years. I can't since wait you to were see four him. years old? Since we wow. were four. Yeah. We've been running That's together since times. before. See? It's five yeah. of us. Uh -huh. Call the 112 Street Boys. It's oh, me, Butch, L, really? Manny, and Rico. Mm -hmm. It's five of us. And it ain't nothing mm -hmm. changed between y'all. Not a damn thing, man. <laughs> Oh, we all know each other's fun. birthdays. Mm -hmm. We all call each other. We're on the same group text. We the 112 Street boys. We know that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Call. We there for each other. Talk about oh, anything. Steve. That's, yeah, that's, cool. that's like, some friends geez, like that. Yeah, that's you friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, that's greatness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, <clears throat> Tyrone, who is an iHeartRadio app listener, says, I'm dating a woman I met online, and she's 44 years old, still living at home with her parents and her three children. She said she had a rough time after her divorce, so I didn't judge her. She expects me to come over there and watch TV and even spend the night with her. I'm almost 60 years old and I have my own apartment. She's very family oriented and it's kind of strange. Why is she reluctant to come stay over at my place? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> that house packed. I don't know. That's wild. You sick. I'm, I'm not going over. I'm not going over nobody mama house. I'm sick. Oh, no. 60. Me and your daddy went to school. <laughs> I'm just trying to Wait, figure out. She what you say? Oh. You're not going over where? No, I'm not going over nobody house. I'm 60. <laughs> I'm sick with your mama. All right. Still that live with your crazy. parents. Y'all, we not. We ain't finna do this here. Yeah, man. Watch TV and spend the night. Spend the night where? Uh, at her parents' house? No, thank My you. My old ass at somebody's house spending the night. Hey, man, what's happening? I don't know. What you doing? <laughs> All right, we got to go. Thank you, CLO. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, it is time for something funny, Steve. I'm just going to let you take it away right here. You and Jay with your reenactment. Go ahead, Steve. This is... For all men listening today, <laughs> we're going to give you Careful. how it works yeah. when you're trying to end a conversation mm -hmm. with your wife or girlfriend, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. and you're trying to find a way to end it. Or not have it at all. Or not have this conversation. Well, you're going to have it. Yeah. But somehow, mm -hmm. it just goes on. <laughs> You don't want to talk. Basically, you don't want to talk. You've you been at work all, all day. damn day. I just want peace, quiet. That's you all. just want to come in and not talk to nobody. <laughs> well, why Who you don't, don't understand that? Every how, man. How come you don't want to talk? talk? See what I'm saying? Here's well, how it go. What's wrong with mm -hmm. talking? Here's how it go. <laughs> you just walked in the house. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm doing good. How was your day today? I'm tired. I'm beat up, man. It was rough out there today. What was so rough about it? <laughs> Jay's playing with you know, I don't want to go into it or nothing. It was just a long day, baby. You know how I get sometimes. I just going to sit down and chill, get my thoughts, well, have what, a minute to myself. Well, what happened? It was just, it was just a long day, you know, just long. Long, long, like, long like what? 
I mean, long like how? Like, well, I've been down there all day. No, I just, mm-hmm. just been there all day. If I've been there all day working, I got two jobs. Mm-hmm. I just got home. It's just a long day. I'm just tired. That's all, baby. Well, what, feel happened like. on the, what happened on the first job? Just tell me that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, that's too much. Hey, ain't nothing in particular happened. You know, it just was. It's, so you were there know. all day, and you're telling me nothing happened <laughs> no, in particular. No, I no, 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 nothing meaningful happened. So something did happen. No, baby, listen, <laughs> listen. What I'm saying is, careful. It just, it was just a long day. It was just, the, you know, you know, just the day to day got in the way, and it's just, I was just tired of so it. So something day. happened that you don't want to tell me about? No, ain't nothing happening that I ain't want to tell you about. I'm just trying to tell you, ain't nothing really happened, but just was the. Well, why are you raising your voice? Day. I'm, I'm just, I'm tired. I just, well, you don't. You sound like you're yelling. I mean, yeah. you. All right, what, all right listen to me, baby. Listen, listen to me. Bring it back uh, down. Look, I ain't, I ain't trying. To, look, I'm not yelling. If I did, I okay, apologize. Okay, then. Forget I the first job. I just want to go on in here. I'll tell you what. Listen. What happened on the second job? What happened? Hey, on the hey, second? hey, look, look, look. I'm tired. I didn't have a good day. I'm just gonna go on in here. I'm watch a little TV and eat. I'm gonna go. So you don't want to talk shower. today? Is that basically what you're saying? You don't want to talk? Well, I've been to talking me. all day. So I ain't I mean, seen you all day. And you come home and now nah, I want to talk. You don't want to talk to me. Is that is that basically what you're saying? You don't. You've been talking no. to them other people all day. Now but, but, I, but I was at work though. I'm off. Oh, now. I just you can only chill. talk at work. Oh, okay. well, I just want to chill. Oh, okay. No, baby, look, you I just want to chill. At work at the no. house is no talking. Well, okay. No, I just want to chill. I see how it go. No, I just want to chill for a little while. Don't you have a talk show? You have two shows where you just talk. <laughs> and you come home and just no talking? That's how it goes? Well, I got a radio show, too. I do a radio show, then I do two talk shows, and, it's and talk- I got a briefing, and I do meetings. You talking to meeting? Yeah, I talk in a meeting. You talk on the show? Yeah. You talk on a radio show? Yeah. But you can't talk home. Bring it back. Oh, hell, I'm tired of talking. Oh, you're loud. Just, Bring it back oh okay, Bring now you're getting loud. I see how it goes. You're getting loud now, yeah. Well, you ain't listening. I'm listening. I'm trying to talk. No, you ain't hearing me. <laughs> I'm, my voice raising because you're not listening. You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. Just forget the whole thing. Forget I asked. Mm-hmm. Forget it. All right. Nah, I don't want to talk no more. Okay, cool. I'm going to go on in here and say Ever. That. Ever. <laughs> I'm going to go on in here and say that. Uh-huh. I'm not talking to you no more. Mm. You don't have to worry about me talking to you. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, when you come in from now on, I will not be talking to you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay. See how you like that. Okay. If you don't want to talk, then I don't want to talk. No, That's baby, right. look. No, 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 no. You, I tried to talk, but you didn't want to talk. Okay. Now you want to talk. Okay, oh, well, look. Now we talking now? Okay, listen. Now we can talk? No, no, clap, no, it up. Baby, clap it up. Baby, I'm going to go on in here and just sit down and chill. Because you can't That's talk to me. <laughs> All right, babe. Just, just look, look, look. Just whatever you say. I'm I just need to know: Are we talking? Or are we not talking? <laughs> I was going to hit. You said you didn't want to talk to me no more. Okay, then forget it. Now we don't have to talk. Okay, let's stop talking. All right. You don't talk to me, and I won't talk to you. All right, uh-huh. all right. That's good. That works fine for me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ever talk to you again? Now he walks away under his breath, uh-huh. and he and so he, he thinks, yeah. and he says, "Yeah, mm-hmm. he being the husband." Her uh-huh. ass is crazy. <laughs> and, and then Uh-oh. she follows him in the room. Oh yeah. And she says, yes. I just have one question. <laughs> yes. I just I, I just have one more question Come on, Jay. to ask you. You better be a woman. Why <laughs> don't you want to talk to me? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, what did I do? Uh-huh. Because I didn't do anything to you. No, you ain't did nothing. I just told you I had a long day. Now you said you ain't want to talk. I said I'm going here to kill you to follow me in here to ask me again. Right, well, forget it. Forget it, Jay. No, 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 no. One more thing. I got one more thing to ask you. Yeah, Colombo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Well, yeah. uh, okay, so one more time under my breath, and I don't think she can hear this. So I said to myself, this heifer crazy. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. I heard you. Oh, 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 oh I'm comes. crazy. Uh, now I'm crazy. Uh-huh. Now I'm crazy. No, baby, I, I wasn't talking to you. People the job ain't crazy, but I'm crazy. No, baby, I ain't say you was crazy. One. No, I ain't oh, say you was crazy. I'm crazy. Now I'm crazy. No, well, I, I said. What? Now, hold on. I'm going to no. show you crazy, Steve. No. I'm going to show you crazy. No, I, no what I said was. Yes. I'm going to show it to you. No, I ain't yes. say you was no, crazy. You, I you said, said this I'm crazy. crazy. Now I'm going to show it to you. No, I said this crazy. You want to see it? I'm going to show it to you. Mm-hmm. What I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's already looking at you it. You show me crazy. I'm looking at it. 
Man. Every man who's with his man. wife or girlfriend, laugh when you get at work, yeah. okay? <laughs> Wait till she get out the car. <laughs> oh, my God. That's it right there. Nah. <laughs> Talk to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much covered it, huh? Oh, yes. Good job, that Jay. It. That was it. Yeah. That was yeah, it. Yeah, you play wifey very well. Very well. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys. It is time now to play a round of Would You Rather. Would you rather a window seat or an aisle seat on an airplane? Winter. Yeah, I'm winning. I'm on that where window. Mike Tyson I can't is. stand somebody stepping on me to go to the bathroom every five, ten uh, minutes. I'm on that window. Man, yeah. I hate that cart coming down that aisle. And you're people stuck. brushing up against you when they pass by. Mm -hmm. But you know, Maybe some you people do. don't have that when you got your own plane. You ain't nobody passing by you. You know, you just you just on your own plane. Ain't no, that's why, that's why, he, why he, ain't sit, he ain't sitting there, Junior, because guess uh -huh, what? He uh -huh, ain't got a uh -huh. would you rapper. He, uh -huh. he already uh -huh. rapper. He yeah, already yeah, rapper. Man. Would you rather wear nothing but tuxedos for a whole year? Tuxedos just for a whole year or PJs for a whole year? Hey, tuxedos. Tux. Tuxedos, because you like to dress up. Hey, okay. oh, I'm going to have a, I'm I'm gonna have a pajama tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, man. It don't matter because, hell, I can sleep in my tux. Hell. <laughs> I'm in Wendy's drive through in a tux. I'm going to have that tuxedo like they had on the love boat with them shorts with it. Boy, I'm going to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather have a face tattoo, a face B. tattoo, B, B, or vampire teeth, B, vampire B. teeth? Yeah, don't get B. B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, I just be a non-smiling ass person. But what you're not finna do is put a pair of lips on my damn face. <laughs> on my it's, neck. There's no tattoo. You a star. You ain't finna do none of this. What my about that Mike Tyson uh, swirly face? Or day. No, I'm not. I ain't none of that. <laughs> but so but let me be clear, Mike. Team. Mike, if Mike listening, I love it, Mike. It looks great. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you mm -hmm. don't want. You ain't gonna put my ass face. on the plane. I love yeah. it, Mike. <laughs> All right. Would you rather let your mate cheat? Let your mate cheat for five hundred million dollars, or would hold you up, rather cheat? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Uh huh. Hold uh huh. On. Come on, right. Go ahead. Say it again. Would you rather let let your mate cheat for five hundred million, or would you rather cheat for five million? Well, seeing I ain't got neither one, E A or B. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going you with pick one, Junior. <laughs> we ain't got five or five hundred. It don't really matter. We coming up either way. You rather I mean, let your mate cheat for five hundred? Greg, here she come. You, Hold on back here. you said five hundred million. Five hundred million. million. Can I say something? I don't mean no five. Can I say something? Yeah. Please <laughs> over me. Please. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm a, I'll, I'll take the five million and do it myself because I'm, I'm a loser after that. Aw. How benevolent that's of that's you. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll do it for five million. All right. That's today's round of Would You Rather. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys. It is time now to play a round of Would You Rather. Would you rather a window seat or an aisle seat on an airplane? Winter. Yeah, I'm waiting on that where window. Mike Tyson I can't is. stand somebody stepping on me to go to the bathroom every five, ten uh, minutes. I'm on that window. Man, yeah. I hate that cart coming down that aisle. And you're people stuck. brushing up against you when they pass by. Mm -hmm. But you know, See, some you people do. don't have that. When you got your own plane, you ain't nobody passing by you. You know, you just you just on your own plane. Ain't no, <laughs> that's, why that's why he, he, he ain't sitting. He ain't sitting there, Junior. Cause guess uh -huh, what? He uh -huh, ain't got a uh -huh. would you rapper. He, why, uh -huh. he already <laughs> rapper. He already yeah, rapper. Man. <laughs> Would you rather wear nothing but tuxedos for a whole year? Tuxedos just for a whole year or PJs for a whole year? Hey, tuxedos. Tux. Tuxedos, because you like to dress up. Hey, okay. oh, I'm going to have a, man, I'm gonna have a pajama tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, man. It don't matter because, hell, I can sleep in my tux. Hell. I'm in Wendy's drive through in a tux. I'm going to have that tuxedo like they had on the love boat with them shorts with it. Boy, I'm going to be cold. <laughs> Okay, would you rather have a face tattoo, a face B. tattoo, B, B, or vampire teeth, B, vampire B. teeth? Yeah, don't get B. B. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just, I'll just be a non-smiling ass person. But what you're not finna do is put a pair of lips on my damn face. <laughs> on my neck. There's no tattoo, you a star. You ain't finna do none of this. 
<laughs> what about that Mike Tyson swirly face? Or day? No, I'm not. I ain't none of that. <laughs> But, so but let me be clear, Mike, 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 if Mike listening, I love it, Mike. It looks great. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> you don't want. You ain't going to put my ass face. on the plane. I love yeah. it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather let your mate cheat? Let your mate cheat for $500 million or would hold you up, rather up, cheat? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Uh-huh, hold on. uh-huh. Come on, Go ahead. Say it again. <laughs> would you rather let... Let your mate cheat for five hundred million, or would you rather cheat for five million? Well, seeing I ain't got neither one, E A or B. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going you with pick hey. one, Junior. Wait, we ain't got five or five hundred. It don't really matter. We coming up either way. You rather I mean, let your mate cheat for five hundred? Greg, here she come. You, Hold on, back here. you said five hundred million. Five hundred million. Can I say or would something? You I don't mean no five. five. Can I say something? Yeah. Please <laughs> over me. Please. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Steve. Well, I'm a, I'll, I'll take the five million and do it myself because I'm, I'm a loser after Aww. that. Aw. Benevol- yeah, I'm benevolent that. of That's you. wonderful. <laughs> I'll do it for five million. All right. That's yeah. today's round of Would You Rather. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after today's Strawberry Letter. But up next, Nephew Tommy, right here with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? Well, this is a big deal right here, sir. Uh, I need mm. you to wash me. Oh, what? I need you Whoa. to wash me. Wash, <laughs> wash you, me. Whether the weather be cold oh. or whether the weather be hot. Whatever the weather, we in this together, whether we like it or not. What? Wash me. <laughs> I did my exercise. I did my exercise. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, whatever the weather, we in this together, whether we like it or not. What is all the wind? Did you <laughs> tie yourself out? <laughs> the curtains. In his hotel room. <laughs> I need you to wash me. Let's go mm. get them. Mm. Got work. Mm. <laughs> it's a great day at t- Nursery. This is Felicia. I, I'm trying to get somebody to come down here to 501. I'm sorry? 501. I, I need somebody to come down here to 501 and, and, and clean me up. But, sir, I think you might have the wrong number. This is, is the this nursery? A, is this the, the nurse? I need the nurse to come down here to 501 and clean me up. Sir, this is the nursery, not the nurse. I think you might have dialed the wrong number. No, they, 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 I need to talk to, to uh, where is nurse uh, Cynthia at? That's who's normally clean me up. I need to, to come down here and clean me up. Sir, I really do think you have the uh, the wrong number. Where, where are you calling from? Who, 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 who is this here? This is Felicia. I'm the director here at the nursery. That's what I say. I need the nurse to come down here and clean me up. Oh. Now, this bed, I, I'm this bed pan and every, all this stuff to clean me up because oh. I've been sitting here a long time. Now, ain't nobody come. Well, sir, I think you dialed the wrong number. Uh, if you tell me where you are, I can try to help you, but you... I ain't dialed no wrong number. I need somebody to come down here and clean me up. This ain't right. That, Y'all supposed to be able to, y'all supposed to get here it, 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 every hour somebody supposed to come check on me. Ain't nobody come check on me yet. Okay, well, I, I apologize, but you have the wrong number. Um, try hanging up and then dialing. Is this right a nurse here. station? Sir, this is a nursery. We take care of children here. This is not the nurse station. I'm not no child. I said, is this the nurse station? Sir, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not listening to me? This is not the nurse station this is a nursery we have children here we take care of children so i think you dialed the wrong number no they, they said that they, uh, they're supposed to come clean up every hour they're supposed to come check on now i've been here i've been here my near three hours ain't nobody come to check on me yet and now that i need somebody to come clean me up and the, okay. the uh the, the okay. bed pan is full and and they just they they, they they, they just don't come check on us like they're supposed to check on us they Sir, supposed to I come am, check on us I'm really sorry that they have not come to check on you and, and your, your bedpan. Well, why would they let us sit here like they do? Okay, sir, just listen to what I'm saying. 
This is a nursery. We take care of small children. This is not the nurse's station, so I'm sorry. No, my grandkid. I got small children as my grandkid. I got about 42 grandkids. 42, huh? They come see it on Sunday, but soon as they leave, the uh, people at the nurse station and that they treat me bad and leave me here like this here, two, three hours, don't nobody come check on me. Can you come down here and check this bed, pain? Sir, I can't do that. I need to get back to the kids here that, I'm, that we take care of at the My nurse. kids, no, my kids don't come till they come on Sunday. They come every Sunday after church and they come see me. Do they? Okay. Okay, well, I, I'm glad your kids come see you, and I'm going to um, get off the phone now. When I hang up, you just dial dial the number right you go, back. When you get off, you're going to come down here and come see and clean me up? I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to let you call back. And Why you all come clean me up? Why you all do that? Why you do it? Sir, I'm not a nurse. I'm a teacher, not when, a nurse. When, 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 when I will come and do, people pose to do their job. You do what the job is. Whatever your job is, that's what you do. I worked 42 years straight, and I did my job. Okay. I'm a teacher. That's Why what you all doing. come on down here and do what you're supposed to do? Because I don't clean bed pants. You know why, God, y'all young folk don't do your job. The damage you're going to make me mad if you don't get your <laughs> down here. You get your <laughs> down here. Uh, I'm going to ask that you not talk to me like that. If you get your down here and come clean this bed pan and clean me up. I ain't yeah. supposed to be sitting here like this all the time. What's your name again? It's Felicia, and I have Felicia, tried to be Felicia, really, you really, really nice to you. Down here right now. Please do not speak to me like that. I'm trying to let you know that you guys. You anyway, I want to. You gonna calm down and quit talking to me like that. I'm trying to help you. Now that's just rude speaking to me like that. Now this is a nursery. And you supposed to do what a nurse supposed to do? You get your down here right now. You, you, you know what? But damn it, you're not gonna talk to me like that. That's just rude and disrespectful. Don't speak to me like that. You, 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 you talking about you kicking some? I will kick your in the wheelchair. This seems to be the only language you understand is me talking to you crazy since you talking to me crazy. Well, when is you gonna get your down here? My is not coming down there. You stay in that state. How about that? What? What? What did you say? You heard me. I said you stay in that stank. I'm not cleaning no ass. I've been trying to tell you for the past five minutes, but you won't shut up long enough to listen. Well, how long is it before you go get here then? I am not coming down there to clean your Why not? I've been trying to tell you that it's not my job. You dial the wrong number. Who you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. Who are you talking to like that? You're going to make me whoop your well, bring it on in. If you think you can get in your wheelchair and make it down here to the nursery to whoop my ass and come the hell on. Listen, will you take a message from me and give it to somebody? What, what's, your, what's your message? Write this down. N-E. N-E. P. N uh-huh. What else? H. Uh-huh. E. Uh-huh. W. What? Okay, you, that's the, you got that part? Yeah, I got that part. Okay, T O M M Y. What is that? What do it spell? I don't know. What is it? Well, spell it out. I'm not spelling that. You tell me what it is. What does it say? I don't know. Nephew taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Nephew Tommy, this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. You just got pranked by your sister. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Well, you were sitting up there like, what in the world? Yeah, yeah. You, you got me. You got me. You got oh, me. Oh, baby. I got you. I got you. I got one question for you, though. What is, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? It is the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You got me good. <laughs> Did I do that there? <laughs> How you did, did that I there? Do, did I <laughs> do did that, that there. there? That's all I'm at. Did I do that there? Mm. <laughs> mm.
Mm-hmm. Yep, king of pranks. Come on now. April 19th to 20th, the nephew is coming to town. April 19th to 20th, Baltimore, Maryland, the Comedy Factory, back by popular demand. The nephew is coming. Tickets on sale right now. Come on, BMO. Let's do the doggone thing. I know y'all been going through a little uh- something, something. So come on over and get your laugh on, man. All right, nephew. Up next, my strawberry letter. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. A lot of people are losing sleep because of work, guys. A new study by Account Tips finds that 44% of professionals are losing sleep over work. As for why, 50% say they've been overwhelmed with work, the volume of work they have, the hours that they have to put in. Some of the other reasons for work-related sleep loss include uh, strained co-worker relationships. Wow. Uh, worried that they may lose their job. Um, that's that's a lot of stress. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Jay. You got to be exhausted. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good one. My boss is a nightmare. <laughs> Have you checked all three boxes, Jay? Y'all bet not. <laughs> strained co-worker. Again, okay, strained co-worker relationships. Mm-hmm. Check. Worried I may lose my job. Check. And my boss is a nightmare. No, don't check that one. Okay. So <laughs> I got to ask you, Steve, you have a lot of jobs. You have more than anyone I know. D- do your jobs keep you up at night? Or, or, you know, is it if they do, is it constant or just occasional? No, my exhaustion from my jobs is when I run up into stupidity. Mm. Uh-huh. That's the only thing I get exhausted for. I don't, I've, you know, I've really found out over the years, I don't really care for stupid people. I really don't. Uh-huh. Your nephew must be drinking. Yeah, I, I, I can't even. I can't even play it off. Uh-huh. Like if you're stupid, I look at you like you're stupid the whole time you talk. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that information. No, it's but... just important information that you know about me and my job. <laughs> yes. My job. I love my job. I'm look. I tell jokes for a living and play music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of my jobs they have an element of me using my God-given talent. Yeah. So I I love my work. Uh-huh. It's the things that surround my work, like when you stupid. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just can't stand that, man. Is that like I. J. Anthony Brown? <laughs> no, Jay good. Jay ignorant. <laughs> oh, is it different? Stupid There's is a, yeah. different from ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> stupid is when you're doing stuff that ain't attached to nothing and just has no rhyme or reason, but you steady doing it. <laughs> Oh, anyone in particular in mind, or what? Just Tom. anyone <laughs> at the job. <laughs> Tom, it's early. I know. I didn't think he was going to say alone. you honestly. Um, okay. Uh, Why would I say this Tom? is uncomfortable right now? Yeah, it's awkward. Why uh-huh. are you uncomfortable? You're not stupid. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. What? You just don't like the way that Tommy goes into the shell when you call him stupid. But let him go in there. When he go into the shell, he can't say nothing stupid. But what's the uh, but I'm not, yeah. He's here I'm not, working. What are you going to do? Yeah. He's working. I'm, He's in I'm right here. Hello, everyone. I'm here. I'm right here. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm right we here. Know you're Stop here. doing mm-hmm. that. Stop talking over and around me. I'm right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can't help the and over I'm, part. All right. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In today's office topic, uh, here's a question. Have you ever been told just be yourself? Just be yourself and you'll be fine. And it ended up being horrible advice for you. Maybe it was on a first date. Maybe you were told to be yourself on your first day of a new job. So, Steve, I got to ask you, are there situations that you should avoid just being yourself when you were comfortable? Comfortable enough to just be yourself in your relationship, or when were you comfortable enough to be uh, just being in your relationship? Those well, are two different my, questions. My first uh, first gig on the radio in L.A. with mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. Uh, the dude that gave me the job said, "Man, just be yourself." Three days later, they hired Shirley. <laughs> it wasn't gonna work out. They said we didn't have enough his ass in here being himself. We need to get a radio person in here to control some of this. We need oh, some God. Shirley get in there and well, you provide. Bad, yeah, you do a time dog. I didn't do time check. Yeah. I never yeah. announced what station you listening to. If you hear my voice, <laughs> ain't you listening to the station? <laughs> you know what, what time does I got means? to come in and say this for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to say the. Call letters to let them know, boy, 
How's you hear me say the call letters if your station ain't on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. It was perfectly logical to you, but it's just then wasn't time radio logic. Checks. And then time yeah. checks. And then, and then, and then in L.A., the traffic, I didn't understand that. It's rush hour, the 405. It's packed. <laughs> Every, Every damn day. day. Every at day. This time. At Two this time. Is, hey, we have to go to a commercial at 18 after. But I'm talking, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> they put Shirley Strawberry on the radio. And when I first met Shirley, I thought she was attractive, but I didn't care for her. Because <laughs> yeah, I you said, didn't like me. you know, I went, why didn't like me? Trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, he didn't like me because he had nothing to do with my hiring. They, they, it's exactly true what he's saying. No, they, <laughs> they just put her in. in there. They ain't asked me nothing. I looked at her. Yeah, they I asked said, me, well, yeah, for a while to come in to listen to the show, to listen to you. So he actually you. had no control over yeah. you, sir. <laughs> yeah. so. let's, let's, now let's just call it what it is, sir. He had no control over you. You were hired by somebody else. He had nothing to do with your hiring. And nothing no. at all. No. Come in there, Shirley, Great. doing time. Love shit. it. Love it. Shirley. I had to do, I had to do radio. This was a radio show. Going, so I'm I said, like, uh, what are you doing? So I said, baby girl, baby girl, stop saying all that. I'm talking. <laughs> she said, we have to go to break. We ain't oh, going God. to break right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing yes, something. You are. And you know what? what? The sad part is, not much has changed. <laughs> Not much. And here we are. 20, well, now, well, 20 I years do go later. to breaks on time now because I <laughs> yeah. understood what sponsorships meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't get it. You're disobedient, though. You, you fought it. Woo, you fought it. You yeah, fought you're it. You're still fighting it. it. You, yeah. You still want to. So, uh, you just say, what I'm was talking? another job, though, Steve, where they <laughs> asked you to be, just be yourself? Mm, I really, oh. Um, you know, I lied to get all my other jobs <laughs> before I got in the show business. If I'd have told the truth, I'd have never got hired. I couldn't be myself. Y'all wouldn't hire me. <laughs> I got criminal record. I got criminal background. I've been to court I don't know how many times. I'm on probation. Yeah. Well, ain't nobody finna hire me. So I <laughs> lied. Lie. I lied on all my applications. Mm -hmm. I tried to get a job one time at a jewelry store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, what kind of jewelry store, though? What are we talking about? At, at like a, a jewelry store in a mall. Oh, like a K Jewelers or something. Yeah, something like it was a little little jewelry store. I just saw some watches I like. Now I'm gonna go in here and try to work here. And uh, the guy was sitting at the interview. He said, "Have you ever stole anything before?" I said, "Like what?" <laughs> <laughs> like what? The answer right should have been no. Yeah. yeah, but I went, you know, have you ever stole anything? Like, like what? Like, you talk potato chips or something like that. I'm going to admit to that. Uh -huh. But they're like, have I stole jewelry? No, not yet. That, that's what I'm <laughs> trying to stay. <laughs> so I would just went with the no, like what? Uh -huh. He said anything. He said, oh, when I was little, I used to steal potato chips and stuff. Oh, okay. Man. Did you get the job? Hell no. He said, well, thank <laughs> you for coming in. <laughs> All right. We'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show coming up at 20 minutes after, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. So, guys, I don't know if you've heard, but seniors, seniors are getting it in. They're having more sex, okay? Good. This is according to new research that found a huge spike in the number of sexually transmitted infections over the past 10 years. A new study, which will be presented at a medical convention in Spain next month, shows that STIs among people over the age of 55 have doubled compared to a decade ago. The study blames Double. a spike. Yeah, double. Oh, uh, a study blames a spike on rising divorce rates, less condom use, the availability of drugs like Viagra, uh, and more older adults living together in retirement communities, and also an increased use in dating apps. So there you have it. STIs rising Ugh. among the older generation. Yeah. 55 and older. You can make all them noises you want to. They ain't changing, they ain't changing nothing. <laughs> but they talking about time on these condoms, though? Why not? condom on, man. Yeah. I mean, that's the easiest one. Well, why you already ain't got long left. You gonna shorten that? <laughs> With an STI. Come on, man. I'll be damned. Now, you done got old and dumb. You spent all this time trying to get here. Now, you here. Now, you going to cut it short. <laughs> I don't need no condom. Okay. Now you 60 dying at the clinic. What you look like? Yeah. <laughs>
There you go. You the oldest person <laughs> down there. That's true. Come on, Papa. What's wrong, sir? Oh, I'm burning. Coming up in 33 minutes after the hour. That was startling news. We'll play a round of Would You Rather right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, it is time now to play a round of Would You Rather. Would you rather a window seat or an aisle seat on an airplane? Winter. Yeah, I'm winter on that window. Mike Tyson I can't is. stand somebody stepping up me to go to the bathroom every five, ten minutes. Uh, I'm on that window. Man, yeah. I hate that cart coming down that aisle. And you're People stuck. brushing up against you when they pass by. But you know, Maybe some you people don't have that when you got your own plane. You ain't nobody passing by you. You know, you just you just on your own plane. Ain't like, that's why, that's he, why he, ain't quiet, say, he ain't said nothing, Junior, because uh-huh, he uh-huh, ain't got a uh-huh. would you rapper. He, why, uh-huh. he already rapper. He already yeah, rapper. Would you rather wear nothing but tuxedos for a whole year? Tuxedos just for a whole year. Or PJs for a whole year? Hey. Tuxedo. Tux. Tuxedo. Because you like to dress up. Yeah, okay. oh, I'm going to have a, lady. Lady. I'm I'm have a pajama tuxedo. <laughs> you know, it don't matter because, hell, I can sleep in my tux. Hell. <laughs> I'm in Wendy's drive through in a tux. I'm going to have that tuxedo like they had on the love boat with them shorts with it. Well, I'm too cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather have a face tattoo? A face B. tattoo. B. B. Or vampire teeth. B. Vampire B. teeth. Yeah. Don't get beat. Yeah. 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 Just, just, I just be a non-smiling ass person. But what you're not finna do is put a pair of lips on my damn face. It's, on my it's, neck. It's no tattoo. You a star. You ain't finna do none of this. What my about damn, that Mike Tyson uh, swirly face? Or day. No, I'm not. I ain't none of that. <laughs> but so but let me be clear, Mike, Mike. Mike, if Mike listening, I love it, Mike. It looks great. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you don't mm, want. You ain't gonna put my ass face. on the plane. I love yeah. it, Mike. <laughs> All right. Would you rather let your mate cheat? Let your mate cheat for five hundred million dollars, or would hold you up, rather up, cheat? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Go ahead. Say it again. Would you rather let let your mate cheat for five hundred million, or would you rather cheat for five million? Well, seeing I ain't got neither one. E <laughs> A <laughs> no, I'm going you with pick one, hey. Junior. Wait, we ain't got five or five hundred. It don't really matter. We coming up either way. You rather I mean, let your mate cheat for five hundred? Greg, here she come. You, Hold s- on back here. you said five hundred million? Five hundred million. Can I say oh, something? Uh, I don't mean no five. Can I say something? Yeah. Please <laughs> over me. Please. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I, I take the five million and do it myself because I'm, I'm a loser. Aw. How benevolent of you. Wonderful. <laughs> I did. I did. All right. That's today's round of Would You Rather. <laughs> at, at, uh, man, he can minutes. stay with us. What? <laughs> <laughs> at 49 minutes after the hour, <laughs> we'll be back with some closing remarks from the one and only Steve Harvey right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Last break of the day. Been a pretty good day. Interesting day. Steve, now it's time for you to drop some knowledge with our closing remarks. What you got for us today? Come on, big dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, today I want to remind everybody of something uh, that gets overlooked from time to time. But if you want to be successful and you want to be happy, if your happiness is sometimes as it often is, tied to your success. And if your success, oftentimes as it is, is tied to your happiness, the two kind of go hand in hand almost. But now you have to be using your definition of success and not somebody else's. If you're using someone else's definition of success, you're never going to be happy. Whether they've aimed too high for you or they've aimed too low for you, If you're using somebody else's aim, you're never going to be happy. Because those two are, I'm sorry, tied together. I'm happy if I'm successful. If I'm not successful, I'm not going to be happy. Because I'm going to feel like there's something else I could be doing for my family. There's something else I could be doing for my future. There's something else I could be doing to make it work. 
And so my success is tied to my happiness and my happiness is tied to my success. Now, do I take times off from all of it and just sit around and be grateful and happy for where I am? Of course, all the time. Gratitude is a huge part of the principles of success that's oftentimes too overlooked. Yeah, I often sit around and just smell the roses. Just take a breath of fresh air and go, man, I'm awful grateful for where I am, God. Not meaning that I don't want more, but I oftentimes stop and thank him for right where I am. Because where we are is pretty good compared to where we were. But now with all that said, let me share something with you. If you want to be happy and successful, you are going to have to put out a massive effort. Period. Stop thinking it's going to happen any other way. You have got to put out a massive effort. You got to get at it. You got to grind. You got to want it. It's got to burn a little bit on the inside of you. It's got to make you uncomfortable not being where you want to be. You got to have a I'm going to get it attitude in order for it to get got. Period. You got to have a I'm going to get it attitude in order for it to get got. Period. That's the deal. No substitutions. No alternatives. This ain't sugar. You can't use Splendor instead. This, this ain't sugar. This is life. You have to go get it. There are no alternatives. Well, you can pick some alternatives, but you're not going to be happy and successful. You got to get a little bit of dog in you. I'm sorry. Everybody got to have some dog in you. You got to have some bite back. You got to have some fight. You're going to have to have a little bit of kick. And sometimes the kick has to come from yourself. You can't quit looking for other people to always give you that little kick in the rear end to get you started. That little jump start in the morning to encourage you. What if they need encouraging? What if they ain't get their jump start for the day and you waiting on they call and they encouraging word? Man, let me tell you something. These are people that you waiting on to help you. People fail all the time. Every person need the Lord God Almighty. So that might be one of the mornings where they need him and they don't have nothing for you. Take your faith out of man, put your faith in God, and get at it. You and God can make it. That'd be great if you had a friend along the way. Of course it would be. But sometimes you're in a pattern where you got to learn that it ain't nobody but you and him sometimes. Sometimes you just need to know it ain't nobody but you and God. That really ain't a bad place to be. It really ain't. I've got some of my best results out of my life when I just asked God for the help. When I didn't call nobody else to see what they thought about it. When I have went to God, just God, I've gotten my best results. I'm just going to be honest with you. But you got to get at it, though. Quit, Quit expecting God to just bless you with something and you ain't giving him nothing to put his finger on to touch. You make one step, he'll make two. You got to be a producer out here. You got to go out of here and get out something. Quit asking God for a job and you ain't putting no applications in. Stop. Wasting his time and yours too. It's like the story the man said, you know, I've been praying. I've been praying to God to hit the lottery. I've just been praying to the Lord to hit the lottery. One day the man just kept hearing him say that. He said, well, do you play the lottery? He said, no. What kind of prayer is that? You're praying to God to hit the lottery, but you're not playing the lottery. What? (laughs) That don't make no sense. If you want God to touch your life, give him something to touch. An effort. Put in a request. Be sincere. But I've decided that I'm going to attempt so many things that's within my gift and in my realm that I'm going to ask God to bless me with his grace. He got something to bless He just keeps on making stuff happen for me. He just keeps on opening doors for me. He just keeps on putting the right people in front of me. Oh, and it may look like the deal ain't going to happen, as oftentimes many of them do. But at the end of the day, it always works out. But man, you got to get at it, y'all. You got to get off your butts and get at it. Ain't nobody finna walk no checks up to you and hand them to you. You got to get out here and get at it. Dreams ain't nothing but dreams. Until you put some work behind them, they become goals. You got to put some work behind these dreams. That's my closing remarks. Hey, listen to me, y'all. Talk to God today. 
He would absolutely love to hear from you. And it don't matter if it's been a while. I think I'm going to do just that, too. All right, y'all have a good one. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 